And yeah, how do I look? You look really good. I like you up. in a smock thing. <laughs> All right, let's be real. <laughs> Valentine's Day is usually centered around sweet indulgences, which usually add up to lots of sugar. But it doesn't have to be that way. Jill Motu, founder of Zima's Madhouse Foods and health coach, is here to give us a few tips on how to bake healthy stuff for tomorrow's holiday, because it's all about being healthy, everybody. So first off, welcome, Jill. How Thank are you? Thank you. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Okay, so it's not, when you hear Zima's, you probably think, where's this store? What is this? It's actually a manufacturing company, right. and their products promote clean eating. So first off, I want to ask you, where's the name Zima's come from? Great question. Zima's is the initials of my five kids. Five kids? Yes. Okay. Madhouse is obviously my house 24-7. <laughs> yeah, so right? Zima's, let's take it through. Z-E-M-A-S. What are the five? Zev. Let's see if I can remember. Oh, Zev, Emmy, <laughs> Max, Asher, and Simon. If one got left out, that would yeah, be awkward. Yeah, big back problem. Home. <laughs> okay, so what got you involved in this? I've been a healthy cook for most of my life. Since I was 16, I've always been on this path of health and wellness. Okay. When I got married and started having children, um, I was the one that did all the baby food. I made all my own baked goods. So I decided to create a whole line of baking mixes for my kids that I couldn't find on the shelves in the stores I was shopping at. So that's what prompted my whole line of healthy ancient whole grain baking mixes and cookies. I love it. We got a whole lot of stuff, not a whole yep. lot of time. Let's dig right. in, Jill. Yes. Tell me what we're doing here. So, Do I get to help out? Of course you are. Okay, perfect. So what we're doing are making two heart healthy recipes for Valentine's Day. Great. So we're going to make a chocolate avocado mousse. Ooh, never heard yeah, of that before. I know. And I everyone, like avocado. Right, I like chocolate. Right. Heart healthy fats, um, great nutrients. So dump some avocado in our food processor. Yes, that's you got it. It's going to be two avocados, right? Then we've got a dark cho uh, chocolate cocoa powder. Boom. Dark chocolate's a great antioxidant, so I'm all over that. Pure maple syrup, so a great sweetener. Oh so we're trying to get away from processed sugars, so a pure maple syrup is a great alternative. All of it. Sorry. And then this is almond milk. Yes, good, so good I healthy like, alternative too. Right, so if you're dairy-free, there's so many options out there. If you're uh, someone that drinks regular milk, use regular milk. I drink a lot of milk. Okay, great. And then we've got a Body's little... Body's no accident. Put in a little touch of vanilla. Then we're going to uh, pretend we're going to put the food processor on, but we're really not. Oh. Perfect. Okay. And you're going to use pure vanilla extract. Don't use the fake stuff. So what you I have it here. Exactly. So what you have here, I use these little cute mason jars. Oh yeah, I love and it. And this here is coconut whipped cream. So Never it's heard of it. coconut um, in the coconut cream in the can. You put it in the fridge overnight. So the liquid separates. You scoop out the top healthy fat part. You whip it up with your um, little hand blender, mixer, yeah, you little go. vanilla, little pure maple syrup, Interesting. and you just top it off. Whoop. That was not supposed to be in there, but, and then here's some cacao nibs, another great antioxidant. And this is a great dessert if you want to taste so that. So what are these things right here? Cacao nibs. So this is what chocolate's made from. Oh, okay. So they're kind of bitter. Like from a cacao it, plant or something like it, that, right? It's the cacao bean. Bean, close Right? Enough. And it's an amazing antioxidant. And we want those for our heart, for our immune system. Perfect. It's, it's, it's great. So we're moving over here, and we're going to make a cannoli filling that's dairy-free, plant-based. So plant-based is kind of this new... Um, yeah, I feel like that's all the craze. It's you hear all a lot the about craze right now. Exactly. So we're going to look for those big nutrients and plant-based ingredients. 60-second warning here. Can all we right. Yes, this we are. So Let's this, do it. this is this awesome ricotta cheese. It's all based with almond milk. Okay. Dairy-free. So I've got this in here. You're going to add some more pure maple syrup. Done. Some more almond milk. Yipper. Then you're going to use the hand mixer and we're going to mix it until it's very smooth but of course we're not really going to do that because I already have one set up here and I'm using chocolate. We mixed in some chocolate chips. Oh great. And then you can sprinkle on the chopped pistachios. If you don't do nuts, if you have an allergy, you just leave those Who off. Who doesn't love some pistachios? And I brought over here a few different types of chocolate chips. This one I love because it's stevia based. So it's the stevia leaf, so it's got no refined okay. sugars in it. And dark, cho dark chocolate is always better. Right. Than... This one is a top allergen free, top eight allergen free okay. chocolate. So that's great for families with food allergies. And this one is just a regular um, dark chocolate. Yeah, always try to go with dark chocolate. And then I've got my Zima's mini cookies here that are made with ancient whole grains like teff, quinoa, sorghum, millet, wow. chia, hemp, and flax. And you can dip it in there. You can dip it in your chocolate one avocado. One for you, one for me. Thank you very much. And this is going to be a great Valentine's Day. Cheers to you.